Hello everybody and welcome back to Talking Wars. Hope you guys are keeping well and safe in these crazy and unusual times. Today we've got a brand new transfer rumours and news update video. Giving you guys the update and all the transfer news surrounding uh, Wolves in and around Molyneux Stadium. As always guys be sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I think I said this at the start of the last like, mini lockdown that we had. If any of you guys are struggling please do reach out to us uh, or me. You can follow me on, on my Twitter or Instagram or whatever. If you ever need a chat with somebody, please do let me know uh, before we kick off uh, this video. I wanted to get that one out there. But yeah, we're going to be talking about a certain amount of players. I've written six players on my list today that we're going to be talking about. There's a big chance we may do another one of these tomorrow, just purely due to the fact of the amount of news and rumours that I, there has been today. We're going to kick off with a big one, though. Um... Lots of people are still talking about Diego Costa, uh, of course, the striker that has just left Atletico Madrid. Uh, he terminated his contract with the Spanish club and is now available to sign on a freeze. Agency is with Gestifute, so George Mendes. Um, and I think I said on the last transfer video that people, there have been whispers about Costa to Wolves, but there would actually be no concrete reports, really. And I've put this on the list now and thinking about it, there's not been any proper report still there's still the betting odds where we're favorites to sign him and there's a couple of single journalists that have said you know we've inquired about him but other than that there's been no contact and that's been said by a couple of senior sources there's been no contact between Wolves and Diego Costa uh, Fabrizio Romano a very well respected journalist was on Sky Sports talking about it yesterday um, he said Diego Costa does want to move to the Premier League but there's been no contact yet uh, by Wolves or with Wolves about his availability. Tim Spears has said the same, and he said he's used the reason about finances, really, purely due to the fact of money and the finances and wage that Diego Costa would demand. Wolves just aren't going there just yet. He's not saying they're not going to go there, but just yet, it's not really an option. But for the money, to be fair, there probably are better options out there, but sometimes just seeing the names like that, quite, you know, big names in football, being linked with those is quite exciting sometimes as a Wolves fan. The next one, though, is also a big name, Christian Eriksen. Um, this was a crazy one that was linked quite late last night by Sky Sports Italy. You think at the time it's quite a reputable uh, company or, or sports channel. But I, someone, to be fair, someone on Talking Wolves posted all the times that we, we've uh, posted a story from Sky Sports Italy and none of them have come to fruition. Um, I believe they linked us with Andre Silva. Uh, they linked us with uh, Jao Cancelo when he was at Valencia. And they also linked us with Sami Khedira and Moise Keane as well last year. Um, and obviously none of those came to fruition. But uh, they're saying uh, now that Wolves were in talks with the representatives of uh, Inter midfielder Christian Eriksen about a, a potential move for the Danish midfielder. Now, when I saw this straight away, I was quite excited because I thought if Wolves are going to continue playing this 4-3-3 or 4 2 3 one style, they need a proper attacking midfield, a proper number 10. And Christian Eriksen did it for a number of years with Tottenham. I thought he would be a fantastic signing for Wolves. Uh, again, that was shot down quite quickly this morning by Tim Spears in the same tweet and same post that he, he did about Diego Costa. He's saying again, Christian Eriksen, financially, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't make sense for Wolves. Sky Sports have said it as well. They've said that a creative midfielder or a more attacking midfielder isn't a priority for this January, which I'm a little bit disappointed at. I think, you know, I would have liked Christian Eriksen, uh, but maybe one to keep our, our, our eye on. Wolves and Tottenham, uh, apparently in talks with him again, and Ajax. Now, he started his career at Ajax. He started his professional career at Ajax, so maybe that's where he's going to end up. Uh, possibly a loan deal or transfer completely away from Inter. It's just not quite worked out for him there. Now, those two signings really for me are two players that on paper you think, wow, like if we sign them, we could go somewhere, right? But then you think about it, the amount of money that Wolves will have to put in into those two players, and let's say for argument's sake, they're both on at least sort of 175 to 200 grand a week. That's 400,000 pounds straight away on two players that aren't guaranteed to, to do well for us, uh, especially Diego Costa, who's struggled for goals and struggled for fitness over the last couple of years. Christian Eriksen, I've, I, I'd have a little bit more faith in, but yeah, the, the Diego Costa rumour, I didn't I didn't like it when it first came about. I warmed to it slightly, but it's gone cold on me now slightly. So maybe, you know, we, we should come away from those two completely. I've seen a lot of people. There's been interesting comments on social media about it, to be fair. Someone saying just like, 
it's just I know they're nice names to be linked with, but it's just not walls, is it? It's not the type of names that we're linked with normally, um, and it's different. I think that's what what has got a number of fans excited, but it's just not what Wolves would go for normally. And another interesting one as well was, um, and this just doesn't isn't just for these two. I saw someone say with COVID nineteen, you know. With some of the cases, the cases rising, even in the Premier League today, some record numbers for them. If we end up spending 25, 30 million pounds on a striker this January, and then the season gets null and void next week, Wolves are almost out of pocket quite seriously, you know, straight away. So we know what historically the January window isn't a fantastic one to shop in, but Wolves are, are definitely going to look for someone who's probably a slightly cheaper option just to see us through till the end of the season and then maybe look at it uh, again more seriously uh, in the summer, I think. So, yeah, you know, Dago Costa and Christian Eriksen at the moment, it doesn't seem likely. But, you know what, we'll keep our eye on it. Uh, Darby Troy All Right is another one of uh, topic today as well. Been a couple of reports coming out. Uh, first one from Spain uh, saying that Arsenal are keep, keeping a close eye on the situation. Of course, it was linked a couple of weeks ago that Adama wasn't quite happy with uh, what was happening at Wolves, uh, his contract situation at the moment, and he believed possibly it was a reason that he wasn't getting lots of game time. He's played more recently. He seems a little bit more settled. We saw how well he played against Brighton. He was celebrating that Neves penalty before Neves had even kicked the ball as well. Uh, but yeah, there was a, a rumour today that Arsenal are keeping a close eye on his situation and that Wolves would possibly cash in for a, of a deal of around £50 million. And then another rumour as well, come from, uh, which came from Eurosport, um, it said that Leeds are still keeping a close eye on under Armour Troy Ray, who's still looking to possibly move on from Wolves. Uh, the Leeds director of football, uh, Victor Orta, used to be director of football at Middlesbrough when Adama was there as well. So he's uh, one of the key figures there trying to get that move going. But again, for Leeds, no disrespect to them. I don't think they're going to be able to afford the £50 million. So it's said that they're possibly looking at seeing if Wolves will stagger the deal. And that was is the only way, really, that would make the deal achievable for Leeds. Uh, Patrick Atrone as well. I think this January is going to be full of Patrick Atrone news until we know his final destination, really. I did a video on him previously. There's been rumours about him previously as well. Things just aren't looking good for him at Fiorentina at the moment. And it's pretty likely he's going to be leaving the Serie A side. Now, his options are Wolves cancel it and he comes back to Wolves. Uh, or there's a couple of teams, I think Sampdoria and Benevento are two teams that are looking at the Italian striker as well. Look, Catrani's still young. He's younger than me, which is weird. He's uh, he's still only 23 years of age. Uh, you know what? At the moment, if Wolves are saying, like, we don't want to spend a huge amount of money, and if we are classing this as a transition season and writing this season off completely, I'd bring him back. You know what? The, what's the harm? I know he didn't enjoy it, I don't think. He didn't enjoy uh, the way Nuno structured certain things when he was here last time. Uh, but if he's happy enough to come back and if Nuno's happy enough to have him, I would bring him back. We may as well for six months. His value at the moment is at an all-time low. Wolves would definitely lose money on him at the moment if they look to sell. So I'd bring him back as it stands if we're still struggling. Again, similar to the Diego Costa deal, I think that is a possibility if we get quite late on into the window and Wolves haven't found any alternatives. Uh, but I think it's pretty much up to Wolves to decide what is happening. Can Wolves broker a deal with one of these two Italian teams to take Patrick Catrone on? Just to give him more first-team football, because Fiorentina aren't giving him that. And at the moment, Catrone's value is just dropping, and that's not good for Wolves um, at the moment. Uh, a striker that was linked this morning as well was Loren Moron. Uh, he's from Real Betis over in Spain. Uh, not played, I don't know, a huge amount about him, to be honest. He's not played a huge amount of football this season. There's a couple of Betis strikers ahead of him at the moment. And uh, Betis are looking, well, I don't mean they're looking to sell, but would consider offers for the striker. And Wolves were linked with him this morning uh, as a possible target. Uh, of course, they do need a striker. Uh, one coming in from Italy, Graziano Pelle. You may have heard of that name or remember that name. He was a striker that played for Southampton some years ago. Did okay in the Premier League, to be fair. One of the rare um, instances where an, an Italian striker does okay in England. Uh, but he's currently playing in China, or I think... I think he's playing in China. According to Wikipedia, he may have left his club, though. Um, but he's currently available. Um, a number of big Italian sides are looking at him. Uh, Juventus struggling for goals. Uh, Juventus are, are seriously considering bringing him uh, into their club. But Wolves and West Ham are clubs 
who are said to have put offers on the table for him. The one big question mark over this one, though, is the work permit situation. Of course, you remember at the start of uh, this month, some of the transfer rules had changed in England due to Brexit. Um, and one of the big reasons Wolves weren't able to bring Hulk in was due to his work permit and not having enough points in the work permit point system to sign. Um, again, Pele is a similar sort of situation. I'd have to have a look really deeply into it. But obviously, due to him playing in China more recently and not playing for Italy for a number of years, I'm sure he'd probably struggle as well for the points. Maybe if he's Europe European already, got an EU passport, that changes things slightly. But with the with, with, uh, UK out of the EU, I don't know if that makes any difference. But yeah, guys, lots of rumours um, to sink your teeth into today. As I said, if there's more tonight and tomorrow, I'll be sure to maybe do a video tomorrow. But these will be coming a little bit more regularly, uh, obviously this month, whilst there are, is transfer news. But guys, be sure to hit the like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let me know your thoughts on any of these rumours in the comment section down below. Look after yourselves, and I'll see you all very, very soon.